Ladies and gentlemen, you will not believe what I did. Those of you who have seen my Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play will uh, be aware that I am an idiot. And I almost, well I did repeat a mistake that I made in that one. Wherein I start recording. You know, I record for maybe five whole minutes. And then I realise, oh wait, I never hit record. Oh! Now fortunately this game doesn't autosave, so it was just a matter of resetting the console. But, anyway, it's a shame because you, you miss out on a lot of awesome awesome uh, jokes that I won't repeat because they would feel forced. But anyway, this is of course Lord Jabu Jabu, the big fish with the metal lips. And we're going to feed him this wee fish, because big fish eat wee fish. And then, you know, we'll see what he does from there. Maybe he might bestow upon us some sort of reward. Maybe there he is inhaling it, as though he were a particularly large man, and the fish had been prepared by... Whoa. He just inhaled Link as well, as though he were a particularly large man, and Link had been prepared by some kind of top-notch chef. Perhaps Ain Ainsley Halliot. You know, that delightful bald black man from Can't Cook, Won't Cook. Anyway. Blam blam, kill those two octa rocks. Much more efficiently than I did last time, I must say. But you'll never know, because I'm an idiot. But anyway. This is the third dungeon, Jabu Jabu's Belly. It is certainly not difficult, but it is the least linear of the first three dungeons. These jellyfish are, I believe, called Billy. Or Beery. And if you touch him, you will be electrocuted. So do not touch him. Now, what you can do if you want to kill him is, you know, you can throw a bomb at them or you can throw like a box. Oh my god, I missed. Let's try that again. Yeah, and basically turn him into calamari worthy of Ainsley Harriet. Now we just proceed through here, through this disgusting sphincter. Yeah. Anyway, and bop our way into this room, complete with pulsating green tentacle and naked fish girl. Not sure which to be more grossed out by. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, without opening my mouth. Well, I don't care what you... You, you lying bitch. Fine, oh, you know what? Oh my god. She walks like an idiot. How endearing. I must go to her. Boink. Hello again. <laughs> yeah. I noticed. Well, now I can help you get your precious stone and then steal it from you. You want me to? You are an odd one. Anyway, like, you can throw her at the jellyfish too. She doesn't even care. I guess she's got a pretty hard ass, but whatever. Maybe she works out on the Fly Master. Right, let's just abandon her here and pop these bubbles. Uh. The bubbles possibly a result of the soapy mixture that you get when you wash your dishes with fairy washing up liquid. Sponsored by Ainsley Harriet, of course. And if you're wondering why I'm harping on about Ainsley Harriet quite so much, I can't remember exactly why, but I told my friend I would. And so here we are. If you are not, you know, from a country that gets BBC television, you may not know who Ainsley Harriet is. But uh, he is a bald black chef from the BBC. He is uh, well known for his exuberant personality. He's kind of the opposite of Gordon Ramsay, I guess. Yeah, you know, Gordon Ramsay is a complete asshole. Well, Ainsley Harriet is really nice. And, you know, Gordon Ramsay is white and Ainsley Harriet is black. And Gordon Ramsay has hair and Ainsley Harriet has no hair. Oh, shit. Alright. I actually meant to... I thought he was at the top of the thing and... Yeah, I made a mistake. So we'll kill him. 
and hit the switch again. Now let's run over and grab this token. And also, I think a fairy. So I might as well stick him in the bottle. Da -da -da -da. There we go. I'll never use it, but whatever. Just hold on to it for now. Now let's grab Ruto and continue along our quest. There's another bubble. Pop. If she's her ass is pointy as well as hard, that's fine too. Yeah. Yeah, your slingshot won't pop them. And as for the switch on their ceiling, which you can see there, pretty sure we can throw her at that too. Now I could have hit that with the slingshot, but I don't know. I just find it hilarious throwing Rudo around the place. And that leads us into this room. Wah. Kill that dude. I could swim down there, but I don't think there's actually anything worth going over there for. I'll check. Let's have a look, shall we? No, there's just a Deku scrub. And whatever he sells, it will be overpriced and not worth buying. So let's get out of here. We can go back over here. Grab Le Princess. Little grab and wait for that flesh elevator to come back down. And now this is a mystery. Clearly Jabba Jabba was a magic fish because he has like floating blobs of flesh in his body that just go up and down, up and down. Kind of like a valve, but not a valve, if you know what I mean. But anyway, for now, we've made our way back to the main room and Jesus, dodge the jellyfish. Avoid the big jellyfish. I head through to here. The room that I call the intestines. Because I don't know what else to call it. And here we have a blue switch. Our blue switches, well I'll show you. They pop up once you get off them. So they need a constant pressure. My god, get on there Link. Which means we have to leave Rudo behind. Also, the floor moves in this room. Look at that. Isn't that gross? I just thought that was gross when I was a kid. And that's the wrong room. Why did I go in there? Wasting my time. Alright. Yeah, I... Okay. What? Get up. Can't go that way yet. Because of the tentacle. Avoid these guys. Because they are weak and pointless. Oh. The switch doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone. No, well, good thing I have a fish on my head. Let's go. Yeah. And now this room is full of rays. These guys are called rays, by the way. I'll show you. Oh, stinger, man. They're not called rays at all. I'm an idiot. Oh, good thing I checked, huh? I could have spent the rest of my life in ignorance. Hey. Anyway. In case you haven't figured out what to do in this room. Well, I'm surprised you can work YouTube, but... Yeah, basically you just gotta kill the stingers. Sorry about my uh, hands moving around so much. Alright, let's see if this is more comfy. Jeez. Yes it is. Does that look okay to you guys? Feels a lot better for my arms. I know I complain a lot, but it it is quite uncomfortable trying to record this sometimes. Da -da -da -da. And there's the boomerang, which has, in one fell swoop, more or less, rendered the slingshot worthless. Okay, slingshot has better range, but I don't think we'll ever use it again, frankly. Anyway. These guys are pretty harmless gotta hit the head and they die as for what they are called I have actually no idea let's check tail pazaran its tail is a sweet point okay not its head though. I don't know I just throw the boomerang at them I guess it curves around and hits the weak spot I wouldn't worry too much about them they're incredibly slow and if you walk away 
they go back into their hole. So, eh. now we leave Rudo on there and we head through here to fight this creature. This is the red tail or parasitic tentacle. Yes. Hmm. Anyway, I'm getting all the names wrong today. You just want to toss your boomerang at it. Z target. You'll hit that weak spot in the middle. Oh, he hit me. But he's dead too. Oh, no, he's not. I guess he takes four hits. Man, my mind is not in it today. Let me zoom in slightly. There we go. And that seems better. Alright. Right now, that is okay. Good. When we get in here, finally, is the dungeon map. How many dungeons in this game do you get the weapon before you get the map? Not many. Now we go back out here and Rudo will bitch at us again, because, okay, she's not only a woman, she's royalty, so I guess that's what she does best. Alright, we'll pick her back up. Bitch, please. Now, through here. The red slimy thing is gone. What's because you cut the red tail? I knew it was called a red tail. Out here with your parasitic tentacle nonsense. Now, we have a timer here, as you can see. We have 40 seconds. Kill all these bubbles. They are incredibly easy to kill. And yet, as a kid, I found this incredibly difficult for some reason. I was dreaded this room because I found it so hard to beat all those bubbles in the right amount of time. I don't know what it was. It's not like I was bad at games as a kid. I actually think I was better at games when I was a kid. It's just certain tasks seemed impossible. Anyway, do that for the compass. Grab the princess. Pass through the sphinx. Ah. I'm never going to stop saying that because well, I have the maturity of a four-year-old and the word sphincter greatly amuses me. I also really enjoy the movie Wayne's World. Possibly for the same reason. Anyway. The red tail got rid of the tentacle here as well. So I can pass on through to the other side. And fight the blue tail. I'm not calling it, well it is a parasitic tentacle I guess, but yeah. It is the tail end of the blue one. So we can smack him around with the boomerang a bit. Yeah, I'm much more on form now. That's way better. Yeah, we don't get anything for that. For our satisfaction. Hmm. And also access to the middle tunnel, because, well, killing the blue tail gets rid of the blue tentacle. So we can go through here, and there's the green one. Now first of all, if you want to clear out these berries, I'm just going to call them jellyfish because it's easier. Jellyfish! They go down in one hit from the boomerang, as you might expect, being the dungeon's weapon. And them being enemies is the only appear in this dungeon. But yeah. There we go. Kill that green tentacle. And GDFO. Now basically we just return back to the main room. Where you remember the uh, green tentacle was. Yeah you remember. I know you remember. Don't lie to me man. So let's just head back there. Post haste. Lickety split. And... Avoid that droppy guy. And through the hole that was covered by the green tentacle. Don't scream. Now from here, what we can do is grab these two gold tellers. I missed. I missed! Ugh. Yep. There we go. Now, basic rule of thumb when aiming this thing, if the jewel is over where they are, it should hit them. But, uh, it flies in a completely different arc if you, if you Z-target as well. So bear that in mind. For now, we just head through here. Ah. Oh, it's the spiritual stone of water. Okay, go get it for me. Nice. Yeah! Huh? That's a good point. Well, 
find out in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D! Yes.